Hello and welcome to the new XNA series. This one will be a little bit different. We are not going to briefly introduce you to C Sharp like in the other series. We're going to go straight into gaming. And for this tutorial, we're going to do a little introduction. And for next tutorial, depending on how much time has passed, but we will do a brief introduction to XNA, but no introduction to C Sharp. I've had lots of complaints about that, and, and I'm changing it. And my idea was, I've seen a lot of XNA tutorials, and none of them introduce you to C Sharp. As, and I've had many friends come to me and wanting to learn game development and think XNA is a good idea, but they don't know C Sharp. So that's why I introduced you to C Sharp before we go, went into XNA, but. Some people lost interest, and in I decided to change it up. So, the entire XNA series will be complete game tutorials. Now, this Paddles game will be a pawn clone, and it's publicly available, which means from the beginning of the game to the finishing touches, all the tutorials in between will be publicly available. However, they will not be in HD or at least HD to paying subscribers only. But they will be decent quality. And it will also be up in YouTube, so I'm trying to get the YouTube videos up as well. Now this tutorial will cover the basics of this Paddles game, a pawn clone. And every tutorial we do will be covering a game, so Paddles and another game, Space Shooter, which is a very basic, kind of like um, Galaxy or Space Invaders kind of game. Those will be public available, but games later on will not be available. So if you want to learn more on coding, you'll have to buy the subscription. Now it may be 10 tutorials, this may take 10 tutorials, 20, 30, I don't know yet. Because I'm still shooting for 10 to 15 minutes of tutorial in order to keep, so I don't have to split it up on YouTube. Okay, so let's get started. I do not have the page numbers because the text tutorial is still being written. I wanted to finish the text tutorial before I did the videos, but due to some people wanting the videos out and discussion, I decided I'll start the videos today. So. The page numbers are not listed. We'll probably do section 1 today for sure. Section 2 we may not, depending on if it takes more than 15 minutes to complete section 1. I'm shooting for a section a tutorial. So we might have to split it up. So at most there will be 8 tutorials for this series, for this game. For the entire series, I do not have an estimate, probably around 150 to 200 tutorials. So section 1 is we're going to introduce you to XNA, the requirements for XNA and accomplishments of this tutorial and game will provide for you. And section 2, if we get to it, we'll discuss the game design, how the game works, how games work in general, the game graph, how game how you should do game graphs in general as well and the game art required for this game section 3 will do the game engine will introduce you to the very basic game engine provided by Microsoft when you say file new project new XNA Windows game then we'll modify that for our needs section 4 will discuss screens why are they why they are important a screen manager a menu screen and a game screen Section 5 will be text. We'll have a sprite font, introduction, what they are, and we'll have a text class. Section 6 will talk about game object classes, like anything in the game is a game object, like the paddle and ball. You'll have two paddles and a ball. Those are game objects. So we need to create the paddle class and the ball class. Section 7 will be input. We'll discuss keyboard. We'll implement keyboard in part 3. We'll discuss gamepad, but we will not implement gamepad in this game. 
Next game, we'll implement the gamepad class, or create a general class called input. Section 8, we'll finish the game, we'll modify the game screen and test it. Then in section 9, we'll distribute it. I'll teach you how to distribute it well on Windows. And then games later on in the series, I'll talk about distribution on Xbox. So for this tutorial, we might only be able to do section 1, which is getting started. So, section overview. In this section, we'll introduce you to Xena Game Studio, what it can do, what you need, and what this tutorial plans to teach you. Now, you can't do this on the video, but if you want to wait for the text, you can skip to part 3 if you already know what Xena is and all the requirements and all that stuff. But for this video, you can skip to next tutorial or at the end of this video. Now, introduction to XNA. Microsoft created XNA and it was announced around 2004 and they finally released the first version in 2006 of December. And it's a game video game tool and framework that allows game creators or new developers an introduction to game development. And it makes game development much easier than it has been before. It is recommended for new game programmers or games that do not require much power as possible to use XNA. And the reason because it is really an easy way to build a game and push it out the door a lot faster than if you have to do all the DirectX stuff and manage all the garbage collection and stuff like that yourself. Now, if you want to develop 3D games, you should keep in mind that there are many great 3D games already made by XNA with no performance loss. If you look at the creators.xna.com, they have a racing game sample and a spaceship game sample. Both are made in 3D and both look very well, and I have not noticed any performance decrease. Version history. Microsoft XNA was first released in December 2006, followed by a version 1 refresh, 1.0 refresh, in April of 2007. We are currently on XNA 2.0, and this version is compatible with any Visual Studio 2005, not just C Sharp 2005 Express. Version 3 is scheduled for holidays of 2008. Now, this was made before the 3.0 CTP is out, but you can get version 3, and it's a community test pre tech preview. It's not the full version, but you can test out 3.0 if you want. Licenses and distribution. This is an important part. XNA is currently a Microsoft Windows and Xbox 360 only platform. Plans for 3.0 include Zoom support, and more support will probably be on 4.0 and later. Now, version 2 included network capabilities, and if you wish to use these for commercial, commercial games, you will need to contact Microsoft and get a signed agreement and all that stuff. You can, however, create your own network code and release it without any trouble. Now, that's for Windows. For Windows, you can create a game and make it commercially available, and it will not violate the license agreement if you do not include their network code. If you include their network code, you will need to get a signed agreement and all that stuff. For the Xbox 360, it's a little bit more complicated. You cannot, at this time, commercially release games for the Xbox 360. The end user license agreement for XNA can be found at creators.xna.com for more information. Requirements of XNA. Depending on what you want to do, it may not require that much. There have been amazing 3D games 